Tuna TV. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Tina the Tuna. Normally I do vlogs about traveling, but since we are facing a pandemic currently, I decided hmm, why not I review all of my products that I'm using because it's like one of my struggles every time I buy online. Whenever I want to buy a skincare or a fragrance, like anything like a perfume, we always rely on honest reviews and it's so hard to find those reviews because some people are probably sponsored so for this vlog I am going to focus on Braley brand and by the way this is not a sponsored content okay it was also the first time that I actually bought Braley and I'm excited to share it with you if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel basically as you can see right now I'm using a different camera it's just my laptop camera because my camera is low battery i forgot to charge it please do watch until the end so that you can see the process of how i've been using it so basically this is the two weeks result mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you're thinking oh why is her face so oily or so on it's not oily actually it's the moisturizer that i've used which is um ole i always put it at the end of all my rituals with the serums and all that anyway please to subscribe to my channel and here we go Okay, so this is the second week result here, here. I can go nearer because uh, there's a light. Uh, I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Only the lips. I have my favorite lip balm with color. So as you can see, I only have one dark spot over here. And that's because I 
sometimes you know we're kind of like hard-headed and we prick our uh, pimples but don't do that please don't do that I only did that because I got so annoyed and it was really like bumpy and all and uh, I'm breaking out right now this one but I don't think it will become bigger because I have my thing girls you know what I mean we're gonna start with the with my review with the serum first so I always start my Nivea okay this is not really because I didn't buy any facial wash or foam from Braille. I don't know if they do have that, but this is my first step. I do a facial wash and then followed by a toner. This one, I don't know if they have a toner also, I didn't check. Uh, I use Celitec. I, I like it because it has. it's for oily skin. I have an oily skin. Oil control toner with aloe vera. So I like this one. It doesn't smell anything and I like products that doesn't smell anything because I feel like it's more authentic, you know, rather than having products that is too fragrant and we're not buying products for their fragrances, but we're buying it because of its effectiveness, right? And so after that, that's when I put on this Braley serum. Look at that. It's already more than half a bottle. I really love it. I use it morning after I do my ritual, like what I've shown, the facial wash and then the um, Silitech toner. And then I followed it with the Braley Vitamin C Serum. It says uh, Vitamin C Serum Skin White Brighten Skin. Actually, I bought this not because I want to have a whiter skin or so. I want to actually have my dark spots and acne to be removed there you can see because i pricked my pimples and please please do not do that what i'm doing because i'm a bit of a stubborn and after the serum i followed it with a braille retinol eye mask so i don't use this every day i only use it three times a week and um I don't know. I have a few left. I'm not sure if I've been... I'm not counting because I have a lot of face masks. I have uh, four remaining right now. When I use eye mask, I don't use face mask anymore. And I use face mask daily. That's the difference. I use face mask every morning when I wake up after doing my ritual and then before sleeping to moisturize my skin. I actually, I'm i actually following Sundara Park where I saw her doing this Dara TV video wherein she puts on face uh, mask every day, morning and then nighttime. So I just follow Korean style. These face masks are actually um, from an online Korean store and it's very cheap. I, it's really cheap compared to like Watson's in there. And then I put this. I use Olay before sleeping and also um, starting my day. I also use Olay because this one has SPF. But for me, uh, it's not very effective because it's 15 SPF. And you know what they say that anything that's below 30 SPF that you put on your face or sunblock is not effective. It needs to be 30 and above so i only use this and to moisturize my skin and then i put a, a sunblock on now let's move forward to face mask i can't show the face mask anymore but you've seen the video the face mask of braille i like it because it moisturizes my skin but i don't like the cutting of it the edges and just the whole um structure of the of the face mask i think it's nice because it's not too thick unlike other brands it's just not for me i don't like the fact that i leave some spots around my face it's just a no-no for me it's not moisturizing some areas of my skin and i don't like that so the face mask i think that's definitely a three out of five yes a three out of five would i buy it again no i'm not gonna buy it again i've I think this one is much better. My face mask that I'm using right now, it's 100% from Korea and I like anything that's uh, Korean brands when it comes to face masks. Now let's move to number three which is the retinol eye mask. Three words, I love it. 
it works for me like how I use face masks. If I use this, I don't use face mask anymore. If I use face mask, I don't use this anymore. I'm not sure with the uh, lifting and firming. I've only used four of these products, four pairs. And I don't think I've seen so much changes. I don't know, can you? Uh, I still have, um, what do you call this? Wrinkles around it, right? I think you can see there's still um, wrinkles around my eyes. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't have that effect immediately, but I find it very moisturizing. It softens my skin. Like I, I can feel it because I actually massage my whole face and I and also my neck because the serum itself can cover the whole face and also your neck. That's what I like about this one. It's more than enough. Like it doesn't only cover your under eye, the skin around your eyes, but it actually can cover your whole face and some extra on your neck. So what I do is every time there's like more serum from the face mask and the eye mask, I just put it around my skin. I mean, don't lie, you do it too, right? Because I do that a lot. So for me, Braley Retinol Eye Mask is a 5 out of 5. I would definitely buy it again. I actually bought it already. Just to prove you guys here, here's my order. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. So I ordered a buy one take one and that's the price. They're uh, buy one take one. I bought two quantity, 274 pesos and yeah so this one and there's also like a cream i'm gonna talk about that and yeah i i bought also the eye mask yep so that's from lasada flagship always make sure that you buy it from a flagship mall now moving forward fourth one okay i lost count already is the braley vitamin c eye serum there you go it's a bit tricky because it says brightening and improving dark circles. I don't, I don't know. I do have an eye bag. You can see it here. It's very visible. Out of 14 days, I've only used it eight times. Yeah. Uh, before sleeping. Because um, the first eight uses of Braley Roller Vitamin C Serum, I find it it's not very effective like there's no changes that much unlike the serum i've seen more results to this vitamin c serum also retinol eye mask but for the roller itself uh, no i'm gonna give it 2.5 out of 5. no hate please don't be offended braley but honestly i'm, I'm not gonna buy it again moving forward braley uv uh, sunscreen cream i don't like it at all okay I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this at all. It has 50 plus SPF. I don't know if I can show it to you here. I put some here, right? The longer I try to blend it here in my skin, as you can see, you can see the difference. I mean, like I know that's how most of the sunscreen works, but I don't like sunscreens that's very visible, that it's too white compared to your original skin color because it's too patchy for me. I do have patches of colors and it doesn't look nice. See, if you can see here, excuse my background. My background is for my gaming streaming. Also, it dries quickly to your skin. So after putting the moisturizer, the last beauty elixir you put on your face or you put on your skin, it dries my skin immediately. Like I feel like my skin is drier. I feel like it's, it feels like, you know, when you just take a facial wash and then you, you pack your face with towel after that, you put a powder on, just imagine. Some of the areas of your skin got patches of powder and that's how it feels like. It feels like some of the spots are white, even if you put it evenly or you massage your face with this sunblock. Like when I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, I look like a clown, to be honest. I actually love the container of this. It looks very elegant, sophisticated looking. I like it, but I don't like the product itself. So for me, I would rate this a 1 out of 5. Overall, I think the Braley brand for me is a four out of five the reason behind that is because i find that 
the serum actually helped my skin a lot like moisturize my skin i feel so fresh i do have some of those tiny lines there that's actually my veins it's very visible my veins you can see it and that's uh one of those acnes i've i've pricked i think it helped me with my dark spots i don't have any makeup on at all like i don't have any makeup on that's my take for you guys i hope this helps it's four out of five because i believe that they still need to work on to some of their products especially this one out of five sunscreen cream just subscribe so that you can learn more about these products my experiences on these products and uh, if you have any other products that you want me to review as long as it is a leg legit store legit brand then i would because again i do have a sensitive skin i break out a lot so I'd rather review those products that would not create so much trouble on my skin. So stay safe, everyone. Stay pretty. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Mwah.